Welcome to this last episode of Traveling with Bo. I'm just about to pack everything up and fly back to Germany. So in this episode I will tell you all about my electronic essentials for long distance flights. So the last episode was all about staying healthy during a long distance flight. But now it's all about keeping yourself entertained and passing some time. So the very first and most important item you already have seen in one of the episodes, which is the Bose QC25 noise cancelling headphone. These are usually wired headphones, but I have this small Bluetooth adapter, which essentially makes this a wireless headphone. However, in airplanes, you want to watch movies on the screen. Therefore, you need a cable. And with that cable, you also need this airplane adapter. I don't know why for some reason we still have to use this, but yeah, it's good to have this adapter. Furthermore, if you want to watch movies and you aren't alone and you want to share a screen, it's also good to have a headphone splitter. So you basically connect your airplane headphone adapter, then your headphone splitter and then the two headphones. So that you can basically watch together on one screen. However, there are some times when the screen in your seat isn't working anymore or something is wrong or maybe just some movies aren't that good. For that I always carry my OnePlus 7 Pro phone. To me this is a very good phone especially for traveling. The camera is good, you have a wide angle, um, tele zoom and a normal uh, lens but also the screen is really big which then again makes it great for entertainment. Also you have lots of storage in here all for a very decent price and once you arrive at your destination it also has a dual sim card slot. In addition to my quad lock which I need for my motorcycle I also attach this little pop socket alternative. This is basically a ring and I have chosen this one because A you can stick your finger in here and it makes it a little bit more secure but also this acts as a little phone stand so I can just watch all the movies that I have on here on the phone. Although it has a lot of storage the good thing about Android is that you can use an USB-C drive or any flash drive for that matter and just hook it up to the USB-C port and then essentially expand your storage for more movies or other forms of entertainment. But usually I just watch Netflix and Amazon Prime on this phone or listen to Audible as well. The battery capacity on this phone is pretty great. However, I also carry a power bank with me and the dash charge. The dash, the dash charge, charge, dash charge is basically a fast charger that can charge the OnePlus I think to 80% don't quote me that on that to 80% of something battery capacity within 30 minutes which is pretty great if you're on the airport and just want to top up your phone really quickly but that's about it those are my electronic essentials to keep myself entertained while I'm on the airplane or waiting on the airport usually I would also carry my Nintendo switch but I had so much camera equipment in this bag that I left it at home. So this was the last episode of Traveling with Bo. I'm now going back to Germany and I really hope that you liked all of these episodes. For more travel tips, check out the season one and season two of Traveling with Bo, where I go into more travel tips. And don't forget, I was here in Indonesia to make this short documentary about how bags are being made. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the little bell icon so you won't miss those episodes. And yeah, if you have further questions, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next videos. Thank you very much. <music>